back with some more great information from Dr. Michelle Tarbox. All right, so we know about washing our hands, and we're supposed to do that a lot. But what are we coming in contact with? How uh, are these things able to live on different surfaces for so long? Do we know? Well, and I think that it's very important to think about the survivability of the viral particles on different surfaces. And the NIH has given us some good data that tells us that this virus can persist on surfaces for up to 24 hours with cardboard, for two days with stainless steel, for three days with plastic surfaces. And those can include some of those laminated workstation tops that a lot of people have at their desks. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that we go through as we're having scientific training and learning how to work in labs or with medical equipment is we watch a video where somebody has gloves on and they touch a chemical that fluoresces and they touch a lot of other things. And you can see how much cross-contamination can occur and how you can get cross-contamination from one site to another place. And then you can pick that contaminant up with another person and that can be transferred again. So we want to think about spaces that are used by multiple people and surfaces that are touched a lot. Those can include things like the screen on one of the ordering systems at a fast food restaurant, ATM screens or buttons, elevator buttons, doorknobs handles as you're going in and out of buildings and of course gas pump handles yeah. is something a lot of people are starting to worry about because we can minimize how much we go out but if we need to drive somewhere we still need to put fuel in our cars and so it's kind of helpful to be cognizant of the fact that anything you touch can potentially contaminate other things and we need to ramp up our game in terms of hand hygiene when we're out in the public spaces now even if we don't have like medical level gloves we can put on would any gloves help how, how would that work Gloves can be helpful more because they're going to help to remind you not to touch your face. Mm. I think that when you're wearing any kind of medical glove, it's an extra layer of reminder that I might have something on my hands I don't want on my face. It feels a little different. There's a visual change. You actually see the color come towards your face. You might be like, oh yeah, I should not be touching my face right now. But you can just as easily transfer particles from the glove surface to other surfaces as you can from fingertips. So it's not they're not magical. They don't have like a repelio spell over them where they're keeping <laughs> the particles of the virus at bay or the bacteria from inhabiting any other parts of the surfaces that are touched by them. So you can transfer things with gloves just like you can with your hands. They're not magic, but they might be a good reminder that you shouldn't be touching your face or other mucosal sites. Magic wands would certainly help around this time. That would be amazing. Dr. Michelle Tarbox, thanks so much. Thank you.